I'm not gonna say this logic is totally bad, but it's a really, really risky logic to be using. So let's, let's talk about it. I don't know if I've ever really quite covered this in the Clay Trader Mail series, but it's, it's logic that does have its places, but you have to be very careful with it because if you take it too extreme, then really you make anything in life sound like terrible. Here's an example. <sighs> crossing the street is like really, really terrible. It's the worst thing ever. Just you don't cross the street. I mean, you could die. You could get like turned into road pizza by a semi. Don't cross the street. I, that's, it's terrible, don't do it. You're very clearly thinking, well, yeah, of course. Of course I could get hit by a car. Of course I could, a semi, a semi could steamroll me. But as I was taught as a kid, just look both ways and you put odds in your favor because that is like a good strategy to have. That is a good system to have in place when you cross the street, right? So that's why you would say that I'm using terrible logic when I make crossing the street sound really bad because I leave out a component to it where it, it makes all the difference. And then there's this YouTube exchange that I had and it's somebody using that exact logic. So let's get to it. So Michael says, go to optionprofitcalculator.com and see how bad options can be. Theta decay equal broken a week. You can hold a penny stock waiting a week for a swing trade. Day trade options because that's all they're good for. So I reply back, with all due respect, that's terrible logic. This is like me saying, see how bad investing for the long term is? See, look, there was this company called Enron. Their reply back, options are terrible. Dare anyone to hold for a week or two, swing trade. I don't understand why anyone buys options. The one thing I did find interesting is upon pressing them a little bit more, you know, they, they're kind of talking out of both sides of their mouth, but they, they are doing, you know, kind of what I'm talking about. So this isn't fully terrible logic because they're saying, well, options as a whole aren't terrible because yeah, you can day trade options, to which I would agree. And that's why there's, you know, I offer a course on day trading options. But that's, but to them, well, swing trading options are terrible. And because you have this component known as theta, which is, True, just like it's true, you could get steamrolled by a semi if you cross the street. If you don't, you know, if you don't put in a proper system, a proper strategy to not get hit by a car. But that's true for swing trading options too. There are many ways where you can take theta, and don't worry about what theta is. But there, that is a component of of uh, options that you can take to kind of help you look both ways, and actually, in some cases, make it work in your favor. So just because you may be reading about something, about you know just being totally terrible, totally terrible, yeah, that's, like I said, in my example, this is the equivalent of saying that investing for the long haul is just really terrible because there is this company called Enron, and Enron turned out to be a big scam, people lost a bunch of money. Oh, oh yeah, okay, but there are strategies in place for investing for the long term that can help you know make sure you don't get steamrolled by you know, an Enron example, at, at the peak diversification, right? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So here we have just the example where this person is using logic to just totally take something to the extreme case. Because again, in this person's defense, yes, theta, when you don't understand everything properly, it can make options look really, really bad from a swing trading perspective. But there, there's, there's more to it than that. Now, the, the one thing that I would argue, and because I can see some people saying, Clay, I've seen plenty of videos where you say shorting penny stocks is stupid, so can't, and then you give examples of extreme cases to the, you know, to the upside. So can't you say that you're kind of picking and choosing? Partially fair, but my counter argument to that is always, you gotta look at risk versus reward for doing something as shorting you know, penny stocks. The reward being the best you can do is make 99% on your money because something can only drop to zero. So you could, that's the best you could ever do is shorting a penny stock. But penny stocks by definition, very volatile. They can go crazy. There's bigger commissions that are concerned or that are surround them. So taking on all that risk, again, even if the risk, yeah, it, it, it probably is not gonna happen. But you know, let's just say a, a stock goes 50, 60, 70%. 200% against you. So I'm not talking about one of these that goes like a thousand percent. Well, let's just keep it modest and call it a hundred or 200%. That's your account gone, plus maybe even more of your account if you're on margin, which you have to be because you're shorting, where you lose your account, but then you still owe your, your broker money. So why would you do 
something that has that you know upside reward of 100%. Clay, still though, you said that there's a very, very rare chance. Well, my counter argument to that is there's still exact ways where you can short penny stocks, but keep your risk limited to, you can limit your risk, it's not theoretical. And that's where options come into play. And I'm not gonna turn into all of that, but it, it's always amazing when you, know, you can short a stock with, by using penny stocks, that's why I call options penny stocks on steroids, and you can get over 100% by shorting. Clay, wait a minute, you're blowing my mind. You just said the best you can do is, I know, that's what I'm saying. There is more stuff out there to learn than just this surface deep type stuff. So when I say that shorting penny stocks is a terrible strategy, it really is once you get to know all the other pieces, all the other choices that are available to you because you can, you can flip things around. And in fact, I'll put a video down below where I talk more about penny stocks and steroids and how all this works. But my point is, you know, you gotta be very careful and always dig a little bit deeper because yes, on the surface, any strategy can be made to look very, very terrible, but very risky logic to, 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 you know, to be using, so be aware of it. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link, so if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything, and that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community, and let me know if you have any questions.